Britain's got a steep history in the computer sciences from um, the internet Tim to, Ble Lee. to Bletchley, yeah. etc. And I think the Annika Little engine will be a nice starting point for Britain and the Science Museum if it gets built, you know. Yeah. It's all inspiring to say the least to see a computer made of steam and cogs. So that's why myself and everyone else in the film co-op are getting behind it to promote this cause. I'm here today. The scientific wonder is it, about yeah, it, it of is. the Victorian generation it, 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 it's, it's, that it's, needs to be completed. Basically Babbage was the first computer nerd and I'm sure there's a few computer nerds here today. And the, the really important thing, especially for, for women everywhere, is that Ada Lovelace, apart from being the daughter of Lord Byron, <laughs> mad Lord Byron, she was the world's first computer programmer. And for me personally, you know, and women everywhere, it's really, it's nice to have someone there. So yeah, a role she model. Was, yeah. A role model. She was there at the very beginning of computer programming. She, she was smart enough to work out how to use this, how to program the machine. Plan 28 masterminded by John Graham Cummings. He's, his intention is to build the analytical engine, which is a steam-powered computer. He's got a great team involved. We'd like to see that built, basically. So we're creating a web series to help promote that and hopefully raise some funds on YouTube for the coffers of Plan 28. I think we've been hijacked by a snail. The web series, what's, what's it all about? Basically, we've got a... We've got Charles Babbage, Ada Lovelace, who was the daughter of Lord Byron, who was the programmer for the intended machine. Within that, we've got the machine itself. And over a period of four episodes, we want to explore the aesthetic of uh, the steampunk narrative. We've been... Don't worry, don't fly away. I like the lights. We set this co-op up and it's a national co-op made for members from up north, Midlands, down the south. Um, we've, we've filmed up in Leeds with uh, Steve and uh, Lily and we've had loads of extras coming in and then we've moved down south to South Bend on Sea where we fil filmed the narrative pieces um, at, at Duncan's green uh, screen uh, studio at uh, Unit D. So would you like to quickly say something on uh, your studio? No, not really. Um, we've set up a green screen studio which is going to be used for a lot of steampunk work. Duncan's green screen studio, uh, Unit D, there's myself there and uh, Ian sitting over there somewhere. The young lady there is Angela, she's not here today, but she's um, got one of the leading roles in, in the production. Yeah. And she's just there doing some overdubbing. So. Of uh, Call of the Revolution um, monologue. Um, in episode one we're trying to keep to themes and episode one is all about the revolution, the steampunk revolution, the industrial revolution. As she's around the corner you can't see, she's the uh, sound recordist and to that hello, yeah, there's, a, there's a hand there obviously. So yeah, she set this up here with, in Duncan's studio and recorded it. This is <laughs> sound effects. Themes, haven't you? With like lake, because it's a griffin base. We wanted the lasers to be more of a shriek, like a yeah, it's like, like an, an eagle, eagle shriek. We basically we put green screened all this. I went to Ironbridge, took loads of photos, and then we basically laid them on. And we're having this as London. We're just in the process of building the griffin armor, so we're going to have soldiers walking down that back plate there. I drove down to Gosport uh, Submarine Museum jumped in a um, tour and then quickly took loads of black plates, photos while being shepherded round. Ben won't mention it but eventually all the cogs in the back there, they, the, all that thing, the steam coming out of everything and all the dials, which obviously it's a back plate so it doesn't move, he's actually sat there and rendered it so all the dials move ever so slightly which, yeah. which must have took, well I know it took bloody ages. Yeah, you know. It's taking time but we're getting there and because it is for uh, Plan 28 we want to make it the best we can. There we go. And there we are on the Gear Covenant uh, on Twitter. At the moment we've got 131 
followers. So anybody, I know most of you here must be on Twitter. So just come along. You find this is a geared phone license or steampunk film cooperative or co-op. Come along. We can. All the links are there. You know, we need to be trying to get as many people to come along to us. Then then we'll go on to Plan 28 and obviously put money towards building of the analytical engine. You know, if we go away today and there's you know, half a dozen people look at Plan 28 yeah. and, go, and donate, yeah. if you yeah. can donate to Plan 28, That'd we've got up yeah. a, a donation scheme, whether it's a monthly one or just a one-off, five pounds, every penny helps. Please go on the website and donate, that's what we're here for. And we'll, we should be, by the summer this will be finished and completed, episode one. Check us out and you'll see the links to everything to Plan 28. Thanks to um, Cubanoid for letting us come along today and talk about the film. Yeah, we're, we're a big, big round of applause for Cubanoid. Yeah. Take about it, boys. Take about it. Here we are. Thank you very much. But yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you.